Hello and welcome to another patient education video from the American Association of Hip and Knee Surgeons Patient Education Committee. In this video, we will discuss robotic and computer-assisted joint replacement surgery. During this video, we will discuss what is computer-assisted surgery, what are the different types of computer-assisted surgery and how do they work, and what does this mean for you as the patient. Computers have been used in surgery for the past 20 years. Recently, they have become more popular for hip and knee replacement surgeons. A computer allows the surgeon to be highly accurate and very precise. The computer can help the surgeon determine how much bone to remove, how to properly align the leg with the joint replacement in place, and determine how to best balance the muscles and other soft tissues around the joint replacement. Computer navigation is the process by which the computer helps the surgeon complete the surgery. During the navigation process, data points are collected from the ends of the bone in order to make a computerized model of a patient's particular hip or knee joint. From here, the surgeon reviews the plan and determines where to cut the bone where to position the implant, and how to best align the arthritic joint. In all, computer navigation enables a highly specific and customized plan for the surgeon to complete the surgery. Computer navigation requires special light or magnetic sensors to allow the computer to see the bones during surgery and to allow the surgeon to communicate with the computer. Some of these systems require separate incisions to place the sensors directly on the bone so that they do not move during surgery. The surgical plan is carefully reviewed by the surgeon. It can be modified to ensure proper positioning of the implants so the implants will function well for the patient. Below are some examples of computerized plans that would be used during a knee or hip surgery. Robotic assisted surgery is a specific type of computer navigation where the plan from the previous slide is carried out with the aid of a cutting tool. This tool is usually housed in a handpiece or robotic arm. The computer sets certain boundaries for the cutting tool so the surgeon can prepare the bone without taking any extra bone. Below are some examples. The first is a handheld burr. The computer controls the speed of the cutting tip. The other picture is a robotic arm that the surgeon programs during the planning phase. The surgeon controls the saw blade during surgery with the computer holding the blade in a specific position to help prepare the bone. Another device that a surgeon may use is patient-specific instrumentation. These devices are customized cutting jigs that are specifically designed and built to fit over the ends of the bone during surgery. First, a CT or MRI scan is analyzed to determine where to make the bone cuts. Next, a patient-specific cutting jig is designed as a guide for the saw blade. 
The jig is then manufactured on a large 3D printer. It is then sterilized and sent to the surgeon to use during surgery. The picture demonstrates a customized cutting jig designed to fit exactly over the end of the patient's thigh bone. The green highlight identifies the slot where the saw blade is placed to perform the bone cut. Handheld navigation represents another form of computer-assisted surgery. The device on the left has a mini accelerometer or gyroscope like the one found in your smartphone. The device on the right uses a special force sensor. Both of these devices are used to help the surgeon determine proper leg alignment and position of the implant. Current research has shown that there are some advantages to using computer-assisted surgery in select patients. For patients with trauma or a history of broken bones that leaves the leg in bad alignment, computers can help improve overall alignment and positioning of the implants compared to conventional tools. The x-ray shows a knee before and after computer-assisted surgery. What does this mean for you as the patient? We know computer-assisted surgery can improve accuracy as well as lead to more predictable alignment of the implant. On the other hand, computer-assisted surgery has not been shown to lead to superior function, improve the life of the implant, reduce pain, reduce healing time, or shorten the length of your hospital stay. In summary, computer-assisted surgery is highly accurate and precise, but does not guarantee better outcomes. Research is still needed to see if computer-assisted surgery should be used on every patient. You will need to have a further discussion with your surgeon if this technology is important to you. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. We hope you have found it informative. Please feel free to visit our website to find more information about hip and knee replacement. Below are some other topics that can be found on the webpage. Thank you.